What's up guys, this is your boy Christopher Joe and today I'm coming to you with a new video showing you guys Decky Loader, which is a plugin homebrew, which allows you to download plugins for your Steam Deck so you can customize it. You can customize your sound settings, the theme of it, the color saturation. You can even change the performance in a battery mode in the easier way and a whole bunch of other different settings. So let's get right into it. Okay, so first we're gonna press the Steam button and of course we're gonna go to switch to desktop mode. Okay, from desktop mode, we're gonna go straight to the browser. We're gonna go to the website for Decky Loader, which is provided by GitHub. I'll have the link in the description for the website. So we're gonna go to this first website right here. And then from here, we're gonna scroll down a little bit and go straight to download. Now, once that downloads, I'm gonna open it, show in folder, and I'm gonna put it on my desktop. Now I'm gonna go ahead and paste, paste one file. You can do all this without a keyboard. Uh, I'm doing this fresh. I wanted to record it, uh, just see how it goes so I can show people how easy it is from what I've been told. <laughs> so now that it's on your desktop, we're gonna go ahead and double click it. I'm gonna continue. Now, what the message just told me is that I have a passcode on my Steam Deck. It said it's going to remove it and then put it back for me. So, I mean, here's the wishing, right? So, right here, we're going to go to continue. Or we're going to press OK. Ask them, do you want the, the release or the pre-release? Uh, we're going to go with release because it's recommended and it looks like it's more stable. And then that's it. That's it for the pretty much just the install. So we're gonna go back right into gaming mode. Okay, so we're back in gaming mode. So we're gonna press the three buttons right here. Go all the way down and you see we have it. We have Decky installed. So right here is your settings, which uh, looks like we have an, an, an update to look at. So since I'm here, um, I'm gonna do it eventually anyway. So I'm gonna go ahead and install the update. So that went by pretty fast. Um, so we're gonna go back. And so we're just gonna take a look at the settings. Already updated. Not really much you gonna be messing with in there. So we're gonna press this right here. And this is a list of all of the things that you can pretty much download. So I already pretty much know what I'm looking for. So we're gonna go all the way down to CSS Loader. This is what you can use to get your themes. So we're gonna go right into CSS Loader and we're gonna go to download themes. Now in here, they have a whole variety of different things you can do. And you see how fast, like this is my first time actually installing it on my Steam Deck. So it's it's rather easy and rather fast. So I'm gonna find one that I like and then um, I will be right back. Okay, so just a tip for looking for some cool stuff. If you can go to your sort, you can go to your most downloaded, um, which or your most stars but mostly you should probably just go to most downloaded and see what the best ones pretty much are so like some of these you can actually mix and match uh, a few of these together like um, this thing is called round which it'll round out the edges of your games this is the one i really really want which is called outrun um it's, it's like the colors on here are like really nice so um, there's another one I wanted. I'm not going to get now, but it was one for like a pit boy from Fallout. That looked like really cool. And, you know, you can go uh, through here and then find some some really cool stuff. Oh, this is a pit boy. I told you guys about uh, you can change the fonts, keyboard. You know, this is just CSS loader. So let's go and I'll show you round first. We're going to cut that on. And now you see that the edges are round on the games. So, like I said, I told you guys that you can mix and match. 
So I'm gonna go ahead and cut on the outrun thing. And you know, you can go down and change certain settings in here. I'm gonna keep it exactly how it is. So I'm gonna keep the round edges and keep the outrun color. Pretty much change, oh, like it looks really cool like this. Um, but yeah, like this is like really, it's, it's really easy. Okay, just some random plugins that I see that I'm just gonna like recommend out there. Power tools. If you guys are like really good with like um, knowing like your wattage or like wanting to change like your battery power on your Steam Deck, like if you're really good with knowing how to save battery power, um, as in like looking at your settings and um, looking at how much a game is demanding from your Steam Deck, and if you want to cut that down to save battery power, or if you just want to up the performance of it, uh, download Power Tools. Um, that's really cool. There's a lot of random stuff in here that I don't even know like the Steam Deck could do. Like quickly scribble down important codes or notes during your gameplay session. Like that's that's really cool for you to do that. Um, that's that's called Notebook. Music control, control running media players using the D bus interface. Media player has to be started through game mode. That's actually like really cool. I always wonder like how I can probably like listen to Spotify while I'm playing my uh, my video games. I usually just use my phone though anyway. This one's really cool. I thought this was really cool. Um, a plugin to notify you of free games available on the Epic Store, Epic Game Store. Like that's that's crazy. They have one called Fantastic. You can change like your fan controls. Um, let me just read off a couple more. Uh, record your games with Decky Recorder. Um, I might actually look into this and see if this actually works. Cause I'm looking for a way to um, actually record from my Steam Deck instead of like doing it the way I'm doing it. I need a cleaner view for, for you guys. I would just suggest like going through here and then um, just looking and see what you want. So I'm gonna look at the animation changer actually. So we're gonna go ahead and see what, what this does. So I guess you can change the boot animation. Wow, they have Sega. <laughs> this is really cool. So I'm gonna go to most popular. Let's see what we can find. PlayStation 2. Steam Deck, P Hub. Oh my God, that can't be what I think it is. Oh my God. And it has a song with it too. That is so petty. Oh, they got the Futurama. Like these are actually like really cool. I'm gonna download one just to show you guys like how little works. Now, if you don't think I'm not about to get Breaking Bad intro for my Steam Deck, you already know. God damn right. Okay, so that took a little bit longer than I thought. Not too long though. So we're gonna go ahead and change that. Um, I don't know if I can do my suspend though. No, I guess that's not, not the same. All right, we're gonna shut this down real quick and I'm gonna show you guys, you know, what it looks like. That is freaking fire. Oh yeah, I like that. Okay guys, so I'm gonna end this video here. Um, it's, it's probably like so much stuff to check out on here. Um, okay, why did it just disappear? Um, okay, that is odd. So I'm going to figure out why this just disappeared and this is so... Weird, I guess it's a good thing that it's happened to me so I can show you guys how to fix it. Um, that's fine, I was just about to end this video and go to bed. So let me figure out, do some research and figure out why this just disappeared on me. Okay, so the weirdest thing happened. So basically uh, I went on Reddit, it told me to uh, reboot it. Somebody told me that there was a download or update waiting for me on a desktop. So long story short, I rebooted it and then it didn't pop up. So what I did was I was looking at my Wi-Fi. For some reason, my Wi-Fi wasn't on. So once I turned it on, that's when 
deck he had popped back up. So, uh, of course, everything isn't going to be 100%. I mean, the Steam Deck isn't 100%. So, I would definitely say use at your own discretion. Um, so, if you're not patient enough to, like, figure things out or, like, don't, like, freak out, then, I mean, hey, go for it. But um, this is definitely my disclaimer. And I will definitely put this at the front. Uh, with the time step so like just don't jump into it um so anyways like i said it's really easy uh, to check out if you guys are interested in looking at it then check it out um use it at your own discretion but if you ask me it's definitely worth it so uh, if you guys are seeing this remember to like comment subscribe and uh adios peace hope this helps